Yo, this thing's back again with the clutch issue. 2007 Mazda 3, 2.3 liter, the Ford Mazda. That's fun, I told this guy he's got a Ford. He's like, what? I never knew. I'm like, yeah, Mazda's Ford. He's like, what? He was kind of... He was kind of a little bit depressed when he found out his cool little red mods is a freaking Ford. But anyways, um, yeah, I did I did a video on this thing already because the clutch wasn't working right, and I I deadheaded the master cylinder and, and showed people how to how to bleed a master if you can't get all the air out of it, and it worked fine for about two weeks. And um, then it started screwing up again. It wouldn't work, so I deadheaded it again, and it worked. And he called me up again. He's like, yeah, it's got a spongy pedal. But yeah, the clutch isn't working right. It's got a master cylinder that's all screwed up. It came from O'Reilly's. So I'm going to take it out. The person that did the job, I figured he didn't bleed it out right. So I'm going to get in this thing and do a master cylinder for the clutch. First things first, there's a little... you got to get this battery cover off. This one's kind of broke. Um, there's a plastic clip right here. It's missing the top of the tack. Usually you gotta pull out the center to get this out, but it's gone. And get this thing out of here. This cover comes off. 10 millimeters on this hold down. 10 millimeters on these terminals. Take off the negative first. And this box has got three 10 millimeters down in the bottom. And then this front comes off. It's got little plastic clips in here. You got to push in these tabs with a needle nose or something. I'm just going to take the computer out with the box. There's little tabs on here. You can you gotta pull these up like this and they unplug. And I can get this thing out of here. This crammed in thing. The cram. The cram little cram. There's the there's the master cylinder for the clutch buried right there. Now the brake fluid reservoir for the master cylinder for the brakes is using the same reservoir for the master cylinder down here. There's a little line that runs into it. I guess my only option is to try to not make a mess. I'm going to unplug this sensor because I can. And um, there's a little button right here you push on. You can push this in and pull it out. I'm going to put some kind of tray under here of some kind. This is stupid. No, oh, this is really going to work out for me. Oh my god. What kind of a mess am I going to make here? We'll see. Now if you see here underneath the car, there's the clutch master cylinder attached to the clutch pedal. And um, if you can see, there's, there's little tabs right here that hold it in. And you got to turn this and pull it through the to get this thing out. There's a couple tabs right here you gotta push in with like a pick. I'm gonna use a pick. You gotta get these tabs to move out of the way there so it comes out of the pedal like so. Well, I got this fluid line here I put a little tray underneath here. There's a clip you gotta pull up. 
and it, it shouldn't come all the way out. You pull this out and uh, it should drip fluid all over the place. There's another push clip on here. Push that button in. Pull this out. Okay, that made a minor mess. There's another metal clip on this. The clip is on the bottom. And I got that clip out. That clip's not supposed to come out, but I got it out anyways. I had to go from underneath and pick it out. It's hard to see. Everything's black. Everything's black and buried. <laughs> what a dumb design. You got a couple clutch switches you got to take off. There's a little tab on the back of this. You got to pull it out of the way and it pops out like so. And there's another one right here. This one just turns, I think. Pops out like so. And then there's three bolts for this pedal. There's one here, um, there's one up here, there's one way the hell up there, right there. And then this whole pedal assembly retarded thing comes out of here. These are all 12 millimeters. And this whole thing should just come out of here. Pull this stupid thing out of the way. And uh, this thing sucks. It's a big piece of suck. I'm gonna get really irritated. Bunch of bullshit. Now oh, I gotta twist this. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, get the damn thing apart. Oh, that's great. The little plastic clips pop back in the holes. Gotta get those back off. There, I get the freaking piece of junk out of here. Did you get all of that? Okay, I got the new plastic Ford Mazda junk. I put a white mark on it for this side up so I can't screw that one up. I hope. Squirrel this thing in here. Freaking piece of crap. Jesus, man. I got this stupid retread started in the tabs and now I gotta now I gotta turn it um, clockwise so it's straight up and down the jokes on me I guess because I'm the guy that gets to work on this thing <clears throat> come on Ugh. There, that should be right, I hope. Now I can try to get these bolts lined back up. There. These engineers can bite me. Before I go any farther, I wanna make sure that this is nice and square and it's, it's seated in that pocket right. And it is. And that top hose is straight up, which it's supposed to be, so I got the thing turned in there right. I put this plastic sleeve in. It didn't really want to snap in, so I had to take a screwdriver and just stick it in between the bar so it could lock into these holes real nice. And it's in there. Now for this line, I put a little lubricant on this seal. You want to make sure that it's not damaged. Make sure it's in good shape. 
These should just snap right in. Same with this deal. Just pushes right in here. Should hear it snap. Now down here, in the front of the car, there's a bleeder screw buried under all this lovely there it is right there that little shiny object right where my fingers pointing that's the bleeder screw for the for the slave cylinder I want to crack that open and then I got a I got a brake bleeder I'm gonna stick this on there and I'm gonna I'm gonna vacuum bleed it okay I got a hose on it I'll just keep filling it as the level goes down it should go down fairly quickly. What I'm going to do is, is I, I, I put the pedal all the way to the floor. Here, let me show you. And I put the pedal all the way to the floor and now I'm going to pinch off this line. This flexible hose. I'm going to pinch this off with a vice grip just real lightly so I can try to get all this air out of here. I'll pinch that off like that and then I'll pull the pedal back up and then it'll let fluid down into the master and it won't let any air come back up into the system. See I pulled the pedal up and it forced a whole bunch of fluid into the system now that the pedal's up, I'm going to take this vice grip back off. I'm going to put it back down again. It's back down, so I'm going to pinch it off. And I'm going to do this about four or five times. That should be fairly sufficient. I should have the master all bled out now. So now, now I, can, I can leave this vice grip on and I can hit the pedal just really lightly and I should have a nice solid pedal and if I don't if the pedal's not solid I can hit it a bunch of times and hopefully the air will come back up to the top because this is deadheaded right now and um, it should feel really good though if it doesn't I, I just got to bleed it out more yeah and with with the vice grip on I can hit this pedal and I got a little bit of free play and then it's just solid so I know there's no air left in this system. This should be perfect. So now with the with the vacuum on, you really don't need vacuum. You can just leave the bleeder open at this point. I'm going to take this off. I topped off the reservoir. I got the gravity bleeder on it. So. It's open right now and it's just kind of free flowing out of that bleeder. There's no air bubbles coming up in my line either. Oh, there's a little one right there. A couple little here and there. It's going to bubble a little bit though because the air will actually go through the threads in the bleeder and come back around and then up the line. So right now I'm just going to unplug it and I'm going to tighten this down and I should have a good system. I can let it gravity bleed too, more or less, and it shouldn't hurt anything. I can look down here right now, it's gravity bleeding. It's drip, 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 dripping like crazy. So I'm just going to get down here and close it with my finger. And then get in here with my 9mm and tighten it down the rest of the way. The level looks good. I shouldn't need to add any. I just want to make sure this clutch feels right. The clutch feels just fine. I'm going to put this back together. There it's all put together. Now I just got to hope it starts and runs and I got to test drive this cheesy Ford Mazda thing. Okay, bye.